when I first got my trailer, I cut the cord. This used to be the cord. It came out of there, and um, when I was done with it, he had to open this up and push all of this back inside. So I cut the cord off, and this is all I have that comes out of the from the converter. This is the full length of my electrical cord, and then I just carry this in the trailer. And if I need long cord, I just use it as an extension cord. I put new ends on it. It wasn't hard to put a new end on it. But now that I've had it for a year, I really don't like this hole here. And there's been some a lot of talk about putting a marine plug in here that will replace this. So I'm going to do that. Let me show you the marine plug. So this is the kit. It's a complete kit. Let me get up towards the camera. This is the complete kit. Comes with the plug for the end of your wire, the socket for inside, uh, the, the receptacle, a couple of gaskets, box if you need it, and uh, the outside stuff. It's pretty nice. So, we're going to take this off first. Oh, it's square. Square pegs. I have kids, so the tools aren't always what they should be. <laughs> these are square things, because these are tight. You're using a pair of pliers. Undo them. There they come. Take that one in, do the bottom one first. Three screws. And the mouse hole, as they call it, comes out. Here's the bottom of this. You just put the wires in there and... and, uh, and screw down the screws and that's all there is to it. There's screws here, wire goes in a little hole here and you're powered up. Uh, the kit does have two sizes of these things and this one fits perfectly. For my trailer this goes absolutely, the holes line up and everything. So I'll be able to set that right there and there's a gasket underneath it for to go underneath it a big gasket to make sure it's waterproof. So that's super. Be careful here. You can cut yourself easy. There. Now trim out the paper. This is just insulation paper. Scissors are easier. Cut these to a decent length. By the way, whenever you're cutting wire, you should make sure to make sure the power is dead. Now I'm going to strip these about a half an inch. You could read the directions, it probably tells you how far. I'm just rolling them on the knife blade to cut through. One side is always harder than the others. And then just give that a couple of twists to keep it in good shape while I do the others. I can fold that over. And there it goes. There I've got so there's got three wires stripped nice and clean. And they're in good shape. They're not all frayed up. Again, don't forget to put this thing on. This goes in. These have to go in here first. I'm gonna have to strip this all the way back six inches of this of the insulation on your cord six inches clean um, so I'll have to do that I'll have to come up here another while and get six inches out of that. So I strip that back now I'll feed it through here Like that, and I've got the wires going out of there. Okay, so that's that. Sync this up.
I'm putting this plate on tight. And uh, because I've got the wrong tools. I don't know if you can see this, but this screw is green. This screw is silver. And this screw is black. So that's how you know where the power goes. Pretty damn easy. So, take the black wire. Get out of my way. Stick it in the black. Fill up that screw, tighten it down. Okay. Silver screw. White one goes in there. Make sure you get it all in there. Twist it up tight. Goes in there. And lastly, green screw, green cord. Goes in this one. Get all the way in there. Now we can pull this back out a little bit. There we go. Oops. Pull the screw on the back to tighten this on. Screw this on completely. That is complete. I took the screw off that goes in here that actually tightens up to hold those wires tight, but those wires are so jammed in there I don't know where they'd ever go. But just for hell, we'll do that. And then it all goes on there like that. So we're going to put the uh, gasket over this. Behind this, and line up the screw holes. Makes it probably easier to put the screws in to the gasket. Put the screws through the gasket and into the thing. That makes it a lot easier than trying to. Give them a couple of turns till they get into the holes. And that's my new, that's the new outlet. And now to change this thing. This is next. Now, this is the outer casing for the wire. So this is, um, now the neat thing about this is this hole is too small for this wire. But you have these rings around here. Depending on the size of your wire, you take a razor knife and cut that end off and the wire should go through it. So there are three rings on here. Oops rings and I'm going to cut the first one to see if I can get my cord in there. That makes it a bigger hole. Get that one in there. And I could force it in there, which I think I will. Yeah. 
and that's going to be a nice tight fit for that cord. Look at that. No light. All right. So now we got the cord in there. Now we got this thing, which is the same way. It's got a little tiny hole, but it's a it's a rubber hole, so I think I can force everything through it. We're going to see. These are sharp. Ugh. Ugh. Look at that. That goes in there. Okay. Now, for the actual electrical part, is this thing, and these three screws will screw into here, so this will go inside there. Like the other one, there's just a couple of holes, and there's screws on the side. And again, a silver screw for the white, a green screw for the ground, and a black screw for the power. Then pull this up. Here's a little, there's a little notch on the edge. It tells you where to this lines up so you get the screws in their holes. And that goes in like that. Get the notch, the screw in the notch, the notch in the the tab. These are self-cutting screws. These are tight, nice and tight. We got that it's nice and tight. So this has a holder for the to hold on to the wire. We gotta tighten that up a little bit. And then lastly we pull the pull the sheath up. So it's a nice watertight fit. Yeah, there we go. So there's the plug. And now we plug it in and there's see this one here it's got a little notch that goes this way and that's the one you got to find that's the ground I think or the power or whatever so it's all done look at that now it goes in get that little notch line that up goes in like that turn it and it locks and then if I want, I can screw this on and lock it. And that's locked. That ain't going anywhere. So to test it, I'm going to take the end of my extension, this cord, and plug this in and see if the battery begins to charge. Plug it into an adapter here. It tends to work pretty good. And I'm going to plug uh, a regular plug in there. And then I gotta just, the way I check is I'm gonna check my battery. And if my battery's charging, that means it's all powered up. And the battery came up to power, so the charger's working. The, the uh, electrical is powered. Just one more thing you wanna get is either you can get one of these that turns it into your standard 20 amp, three prong plug. So you can plug it directly into, so you can plug this in, there you go, plug this in to a regular extension cord like that, so that works, or you can get a cheap little one like this, which is just an adapter that, you know, it doesn't have the pigtail on it, 
but it goes into the thing. So, I guess I'll charge my battery. One other thing I want to say is that if you don't have a surge guard or a, uh, what's the other type? Uh, the performance. Um, but if you don't have protection for surge and low and high voltage on your trailer, um, you're really taking a lot of risk with park power. Park power is uh, notoriously bad, and when the, when the voltage fluctuates up and down, it's not necessarily a surge. So you want to get a surge protection with uh, high and low voltage protection too. Low voltage is important as is high because that'll burn out your air conditioner, it'll burn out your microwave. It'll, I think the, the best way to camp is off grid. Keep your batteries charged. Use your solar. All these. Uh, this whole thing I'll have on the. Um, down in the show notes. Look for links on the show notes for Amazon. Um, this thing is actually cheaper at Camping World when they're having their sale if you're a member. You know, you get, but um, they do sell them on Amazon, so I'll put it on Amazon. And mine is uh, mine is a plug-in. It's not internal. If I had done this right, I probably would have put this inside so people can't see it. But I really like being able to put it on the power pole and knowing that it's working and watch it. Um, I've never had anything stolen. People don't. People say they get stolen, but I think the truth is they leave them behind and they forget them. They're about 200 bucks, so it's it's a big expense, but think of what your air conditioner or your heater or your fridge or your microwave cost, and that'll protect them. I've been... Anyways, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, I don't think there's a reason not to. If either you think so, let me know. And uh, leave some comments, share the video with friends and, and other people. But this, this is an awesome uh, upgrade to your trailer. All right, we'll see you in uh, another week or so. Bye.